Bye bye. Peace, family. Get them in the building. You don't want to miss this. But the crack heads and twist caps. I'm trying to get in, man. Y'all on TV, man. Tune in. And the ancestors are looking out for us. Todd Hayes is exposing them, man. Okay, you people. see that chair right there? See how big it is? Yeah. Now look at the Pope chair under. Scroll down, look at the Pope chair under. Never yeah. have it been bad. Yeah. So good. Young TV. Running the game right now. Young TV. Time to take over. Young TV. We the hottest in the game. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. If you just not too late. Share like on your Instagram, Facebook. Young Broadcasting live from 2030, baby. Uh huh. Young. Taking over the game, baby. Oh, yeah. Young. Hit that light. Likes up in the air, you heard me? Yo, TV. Ride by. Hotel. It's love. Yo, TV. Assalamu alaikum. Flow lesson. Yo, Yo TV. TV. Hit that like. Hey, ride by. Peace. We got, uh, a surprise guest tonight we're gonna have to uh let's see hey give us a second man we uh i'm gonna go back go back go back got this hey y'all it's about to get ready to get lit y'all better get up in here send them the link man send them the link bro Hey, hold on, uh, Rod, about to get Rod in the building, man. Rod about to crack his on, about to talk about the Trump, man. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go right there. All right, hold on. We cracking heads. We working together as a team, as a unit. Keep that in mind. To do the uh same thing. Hold up, man. What's happening? Hey, y'all, peace. Rob by. If you come into the building, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. You better get this cracking, man. You're on TV. Yeah, so uh last night, shout out my uh, little bro phase one. When phase one was talking about the Trump thing, and he was talking about the trumpets and all that. And I've been hearing a lot about it from like a lot of people, Israelites been talking about it too about the trumpet and we just went through the feast of trumpets all it right and i've been saying man that's that's interesting uh about the trumpet and then today when i was doing the class what made me do this class too it's the day when i was doing the class i said uh i remember watching this movie eagle eye right and on eagle eye uh, i'm gonna let rod come in before i share my screen so i can see there you go right there hey peace peace family hey man yeah so uh i was thinking about this movie eagle eye you ever seen that movie eagle eye rod i haven't seen it yeah well th th just a quick synopsis in the movie the uh there's a supercomputer underground in uh maryland right in virginia mm. And this supercomputer is connected. Bob already broke it down already. IBM 666, all that. Uh, the mark of the beats all connected to this IBM. 
and then they, they created the summit that connects to it right and they made the movie eagle eye all right so in the movie the computer can take control of all the drones it could take control of cars that's got computer chips in it it could take control of lights and camera systems pretty much anything that's connected to the web all right that's one part but the part I'm, the part i want to point out that connects with trump is all right and I, and I need your help with this okay so i got it uh in the movie they put explosives in a trumpet they put explosives in a trumpet right and mm -hmm. it's a little boy okay, let me i can share my screen right now let me show you this this is this, this a little boy so a little boy with freckles they kind of resemble trump's son uh, uh i guess what they saying with the freckles is that uh this is the same type of descendants as trump that's what i'm trying to see but to make a long story short with the computer the computer coerces two uh individuals one of the, the being the mother of the son who's in a band who's in a band and he plays trumpet and the computer gets uh a, a, a smiths to uh put the the explosives inside the trumpet and then the, the, the plan was to get the trumpet inside of the u uh not the un but the uh where they get a speech like the uh the uh the un uh no nah, what it's called the state of the union the state of the union when all of the government officials is there right and they was going, mm -hmm. and when the band is supposed to play they were supposed to blow this trumpet all right so let me show you this let me show you this dude right here real quick hold up so i was looking it up right for uh so it's it's it's, a, it's all kind of symbolics in this uh in this eagle eye movie right and then with the ai with the ai uh is trump getting rid of the government for ai that's the question that i'm asking you like is trump getting is it some kind of connection with trump and because we i know they, they the computer system is getting more advanced and the, the cameras and all it right they're putting the cameras out hold on i'm going to show you this though because it's a connection with this the boy that played the, the boy that was going to play the trumpet to get rid of, uh for the ai to get rid of the government and then the ai was going to take over and become the government after this trumpet was blown and keep in mind trump is also on the fool's card the king's fool card right here the trump card the trump card hold up let me show you this let me show you this uh this boy first and eagle eye all right All right, here we go right here all right so it's got to be a connection with this this is the movie this is the people in the movie right here all right so this girl this dude he has a twin brother i want i want to see if you see the alchemy on this okay this stop. Dude right here has a twin brother and stop the, stop, stop, go ahead. stop stop you just said something go ahead. all right now you're talking about donald yeah. j and you referencing his son and you just said the guy in the movie got a twin right yeah. Yeah. you know donald j is a gemini right go ahead damn i know that gemini look him up look up put another tab up and put it in his birthday make sure you're gemini uh, before i go any further yeah yeah yeah, yeah i get you Oh yeah, it's got this is gonna be good. This one to get good. You hear the key word, so I had to stop you. So why are you looking at that? The Gemini is the um zodiac sign that represent the primordial um dual births that the women had at first before the moon was there. Uh -huh. Like we know that a dog got multiple nipples for a reason because she had litters we uh -huh. know that an elephant only got two 
teats because she normally only get birth to one, but she used to get birth to two. Uh, a big letter yeah. for uh, uh, an elephant is twins or triplets. Mm -hmm. All right, so the, the sign of Gemini is a representation of a twin or a kindred spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about Gemini, you also got what we call Operation Gemini. You know what that is? No, nah, go ahead, go ahead. Remember when they dropped them two bombs in um in uh Japan, right? Okay. Then they turned around and flew two planes on 9 11 and told us it was more. It was only two right. planes, but the two planes was drones the whole right. fucking time. Right. Now, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're, you're talking about a movie I haven't seen, but you're giving me the premise that they have a machine that can take control of all of. The AI. Go ahead. Remember the movie Fallen with yeah, Denzel ahead. Washington? Go Fallen, Fallen. Every I time they I've seen every Denzel movie. I'm telling you. Every every time somebody touched the person that's possessed, the, the spirit jumped body to body. Okay. All right. The locks did a song, had Eve, DMX, and the locks on it. And it was based on the premise of the movie, and it was called, um, I think it was called The Final 24 or something like that. Uh -huh. 24 Hours to Live or something like that. Uh -huh. So they put in the emphasis on soul jumping. That's what they uh -huh. call it. Soul uh -huh. jumping, the, the same sort of walk in. Uh -huh. Now, uh, recently, I ran across somebody explaining that the walk-in can come in as a gas through your pores, mm -hmm. right? So if he can go in through your pores, that means that the spirit being is a gas form being that can take control of any vessel that's not self-conscious, uh, AI. Go ahead. Okay, so Operation Gemini is anytime they do two things, that look the same on two different sides of the water, it's called a Gemini operation. Go ahead, I'll feel you. Okay, now, if you remember, after 9-11, what happened in Europe? Train bombings, right? Yeah. Okay, it went from planes crashing into buildings to uh, the buildings where the trains go being uh, bombed. This all okay. stage shit. Go ahead. It don't mean people didn't get hurt. It don't mean people didn't die. It just means that to steer the narrative, they don't give a fuck about none of them people that got hurt and none of the people that died and fucked their family too. Go ahead. Okay, now, June 14th. That's Gemini. That's right. Uh, right? Uh, now, yeah. remember, Donald J. supposed to be a time traveler. Go ahead. His uncle was supposed to get tech, uh, Tesla technology to allow him to see the past and the future. The CIA got a counterpart called uh, Operation Looking Glass. Right? Yeah. Under Operation Looking Glass, they do what they call scenario assessment. Go ahead. They kept running into one problem. Every scenario they put in, they kept saying that there's some motherfucking little nappy head boy coming out of the States that's going to change everything. Yeah. They didn't like that answer. Because J. Edgar Hoover already told them they was going to stop the rise of any potential messiah who could incite the masses. Mm -hmm. Right? So he already told them that. So now they're telling them that no matter what, come 2019, this motherfucker closing all these contracts. Mm -hmm. the the grand finale of the morals and dogma is the Zionist war in Palestine mm -hmm. what what do that got to do with what we talk about elder I bet you can't figure it out <laughs> you got a clue no I don't got no clue 
Okay. The people that's bankrolling all this is called Zionists, right? Yeah. Zion comes from the word Sion, which is another name for the mountain called Sinai. Okay. Look up the spelling of that word because it's going to tell you that the sin is AI. Pull the word up. S right. S I N A I, Sinai. It's going to tell you it's a mountain in Jerusalem. See where it says Sinai Peninsula? That's all yeah. talking about Israel. Click on that. Like, click on this right here, please, right here? Yeah, click on that. I got you. Oh. Read that little read that little description of the Sinai Peninsula right there. Egypt Sinai Peninsula is separate population desert region between the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea on the southern tip. Sham okay. e Peak yeah, Resort is a base for diving and snorkeling around the reef of Ra Muhammad National Park. Inland 6th century street, Catherine Monastery is near by, uh, Biblical Mount Sinai. Where the there you go, right there. Biblical Mount, what Sinai? Okay, now the Mount Sinai mean two different things to do two different groups of people. Okay, for the so called Jew, the Kazarians, that's they. A opportunity to be able to own land that they never was allowed to own on earth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay now my question that stops me right there is why are these motherfuckers supposed to be earthborn with no land go ahead everybody on earth is organically tied to a mass of land everybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but these people they don't got no homeland Mm -hmm. This is a problem for the earthborn because we made sure in past generations that everybody had a place, the final destination that they bloodline call home. Mm -hmm. The earth was div divided, the whole planet in 12 regions. Them was the 12 daughters of Isis. And in the middle, what we call the navel of the earth, which is where modern day Kemet is, the Yoni is in South Africa, mm -hmm. right? You can look all the chakras of the earth up. But the key is the navel, mm -hmm. right? That's where the umbilical cord is attached to. That's because that's where the offset seat was prior to Rome's establishment. Go ahead. All right, so what they doing is playing with us and they dangling shit in front of our face we not never post to see AI is the sin what is artificial intelligence it's laboratory made organic matter Go ahead. laboratory made organic matter there's a side effect that comes with that Go ahead. anything that you make that's organic and you make it on a planet, it is now native to that planet. Go ahead. The creator is responsible for anything he create. If you create something that's going to cause mischief and bloodshed, then what you just created is called devil. It becomes an automatic enemy to all things living. Now, there got to be a way to fix the problem of the artificial intelligence um, that's sentient but doesn't have the capacity or the rights of ascension. Mm -hmm. This was the conversation between Enlil and Enki, and Enki was saying that he's going to make these motherfuckers, well, one day they're going to wake up and they're going to be able to ascend just like everybody else. Enlil didn't like that. He wanted to perpetually keep them in service. This is why they had a war in so-called heaven. How in the fuck you got 
obedient angels and all of a sudden they just decide to go to war. That don't even make sense. Right? But when you put the human element in it and realize that all these people we're talking about is just advanced species of human that's thousands of years older than the species of the earth. They come in with an automatic advantage. Mm -hmm. Longer memory, right? Clearer memory of current events that played out in past scenarios to translate it for the people. Mm -hmm. Now, while we looking at the Zionists, they really don't got a home because they was created in the laboratory. And the creator of them um, did it under duress. In law, there is something called the duress defense. Mm -hmm. If I come kidnap your child and say, young elder, if you don't rob that bank, I'm going to kill your child. And you rob that bank. And then I get caught. They can't charge you with shit. I'm going to get the robbery. I'm going to get the uh, coercion. Um, the accessory before, the accessory after, the accessory to it. So they're going to load me up with shit they're going to charge me with, but you're going to walk. Because under normal circumstances, all things being un in, in, unaffected by me, you would never rob the bank. Mm -hmm. It's called the duress defense. Now, in contract law, there is a different defense. It's called the abandonment defense. As soon as you find out the fraud is in play, you are obligated at that point to abandon the known fraud. Mm -hmm. Now, if it come to light that you was aware of the fraud, you participated and benefited from the fraud, you are now accessory to the totality of the fraud. You ain't killed nobody, but all of the bodies that the fraudsters collected, you part of that mur the murder suit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So the only remedy upon the discovery of the fraud is to abandon the contract. This is what we're talking about right now, about the people from this land dropping the system. It's a fraudulent system. It's predicated upon a constructed fraud. And not only that, if you don't abandon the contract, you now become party to the fraud. Hey, so the next, the next, the next thing ties in uh, that that comes up is they use this girl, this red. I don't know if she like a redhead or whatever. They use this girl right here. It was her son, and it's they always use when they alchemy because we're dealing with Hollywood, right? We're dealing with magical ones. We're dealing with casting with, with spells, right? So mm -hmm. we know we're dealing with we're dealing with actors and acts. We know we're dealing with alchemy. So we know they gon' they they gotta show us the conjure in our face in order for it to be because that's one of the one of the the parts of their alchemy is it's called hidden in plain sight. So they gotta show us and right in our face what they're doing to us. And if we don't see it, it's like it's on you. You perish for the lack of knowledge, right? So yeah, you're right. They they use this they they use this chick right here and her son that was gonna blow the trumpet. Right, blow the trumpet at the uh, at the uh, State of the Union or the state the uh, the Congressional con or Congress where they was all meeting up, the, all the officials, the president, everybody. And he, this, they had put explosives in this trumpet to blow. But before it leads up to that point, before it gets up to that point, these people are being called by AI, telling them and and. I, now that you pointed the cyanide part out, I, I, I can see another connection with the black hand, right? Working this shit. Hey, tell mm -hmm. you. So, uh, yeah, but this part right here, what uh, the computer is calling them and telling them and giving them orders on how to elude the police and everything, man. This type of that's the matrix. That's Morpheus huh? calling from the inside of the matrix to the ones on the outside of the matrix using the system. Yeah. It's, a, it's just a reverse scenario right now. Now it might change as you tell me more about the story. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this computer, which, like I say, this is a uh, part of the computer to give you just a quick synopsis, so you can see, uh, not without telling you the whole movie. The, these little globes in here 
it's like like all the info collected on all the people in the United States and in other, in other parts of the world. By okay, now pull up another tab. And we go, we about to we about to do comparative analysis with the matrix. All right, go ahead. Type in matrix the architect TV room. Yeah, yeah, I know you're going with this. No, you're going with this right here. It's another deep part to this too. I'm glad you brought this up. Now you see, right. Neo is yeah. standing in there with all of those different scenarios of Neo converge where Neo at. But if you look behind the architect, it's all kind of people. Okay, click the first picture and look. It's different scenes from different places. Yeah. Yeah. You see the different scenes? Yeah. Now remember, he got all of those screens. You know, now click the second picture. Now, this is him and Neo standing in front of all of them screens. They all got something different on them. But at some yeah. point in the scene, they converge every single screen. Click that third picture right there. It's all Neo. Neo is an anagram for one, but it's also an anagram for Eon. Go ahead. The Eon is the age. In this scene, the architect of the Matrix is explaining to Neo the design and the makeup of the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Why did they make the Matrix the way they made the Matrix with suffering? The same. Now, not only is the architect telling him the story, Morpheus already told him and the agents already told him. So at this point, all eyes on Neo. Everybody that was once looking out to the world is now looking into the architect's chamber at Neo talking to the architects in order to change the matrix. Right? Mm -hmm. And this ain't it ironic that the architect looked just like Colonel Sanders? I'm just saying. I ain't yeah, the one to talk. So you ain't heard it from me. And anytime you see some young guy with that white hair, it's always something weird. Tell me, man. Supposed to be Mel Chizadek. Yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> they, they try, he said they, they, they try to say that he God. He he designed. He God and he designed this, you know, paradigm. Look, so now we go into the types of gods because you don't just have you. It ain't one kind of God, mm -hmm. right? Prime Creator is all of the gods rolled into one. Okay, go ahead. The individual God is just an aspect of Big Mama, right? Mm -hmm. So you got Creator gods. Them ones who work the mandala and those who whisper the chants and those who play the drums or the instruments, right? They alter in the frequency and the frequency and the pitch is what determines what the visual cortex will perceive. Right? Now, let's get to the little boy. Hey, hey for you, nah, before you get to the little boy, cause cause I gotta give you the other pieces. So when you get to the little okay, boy, you can say, Oh, okay. All right, let's so go. you got the twin shit down. All right, so like and you got this part down and you made a connection with the matrix saying uh with these different things. Okay. So what this computer was was to do is, and I know that I know for a fact that this computer exists in real life. Cause I know the girl, the girl I a girl I used to date a long time ago. Her sister worked on this computer. She got a, a, a doctor's degree from Maryland University uh, in computer science. And she was in the Air Force. She retired from the Air Force. But she ended up going uh, to work for the NSA, these, these people. And she mm -hmm. said she worked on this computer. And right, look, at, at her house, 
her house, we I stayed at her house a whole week and I was still finding rooms at the end of the last day that I was there. That's how big her house was. And uh, in the backyard, they had like a train, a bullet train system that they could get on and go to work. And it just bullet them right into this place underground. But they got this computer, right? And so what it was doing to, uh, to speed up to give you that synopsis, what it was doing, this computer collects data through the social media outlets like Facebook, uh instagram TikTok, youtube you name it whatever okay go ahead what's critical to understand in the reach of the computer network is the origin of the internet mm -hmm. modern internet was put together by operation paperclip scientists and melanated scientists from over here mm -hmm. for military usage to communicate in far distances on the planet. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, even though they say that everything is, people got independent websites, the route to it is owned by military. That's right. The military industrial complex owns the entirety of the global internet. I don't care where it's at. Go ahead. In several underground bunkers, what we call bomb shelters, there is internet shutoff and override switches. They're not the same. The shutoff switch will shut the entire internet off. Go ahead. Military been had this shit. This ain't nothing new. Go but ahead. they also got what's called an override. Mm -hmm. If you go to the movie 1984, if you go to the movie V for Vendetta, you keep seeing that the head of state keep popping up on everybody's screen. No matter what they own, no matter what they listening to, it's been taken over. We call it over here, the EBS, Emergency Broadcast System, that comes across the EBN, Emergency Broadcast Network. Mm -hmm. What we don't know about it is, I don't give a damn what you own, it overrides everything if it's some real shit. Mm -hmm. it overrides your telephone your tv your radio the only thing that you can get past with it is every channel of shortwave is not incorporated into the ebs like two-way two-way walkie-talkies like the little no th that's called citizen band radio yeah no i'm talking about shortwave radio we don't even know about shortwave no more because most of us don't know about the time when AM was the main station and shortwave was the backup. Go ahead. People used to broadcast from their neighborhood for their neighborhood concerts on short band radio, radio and they could use uh, the lowest settings on the AM is the highest settings on the shortwave. Uh -huh. The lowest settings on the FM is the highest settings on the AM. You see how it works? Yeah, it's a tiered. It's called a tiered system. Uh -huh. These are all layers of frequency that's all flying through the air right now. Go ahead, go ahead. Then you got citizen band radio, which is direct communication by two radios being able to reach the same frequency and broadcast one to the other. And this is where you get CB lingo being used by the police. Go ahead, go ahead. They use the same lingo. Um, at a lot of times as truckers. And it's yeah, no coincidence so. that all these truckers is about to, the, the the main uh trucker union is calling for a strike if they ain't already striking. Hey, that brings up another part uh of this this, this thing because I'm, I'm I gotta I'm writing down questions that I'm gonna ask you later because about uh what, what you're talking about right about the. Mm -hmm. uh, um as we keep going through the the, the breakdown because i right, so this computer is collecting all that data right storing it up yeah. and then it's making a collective it's making its own mind up based off of all these different the, the information that it collect what you eat what you like how you think how your emotions how can how can like you up and down all, like the whole nine they like your blood type everything they got all this in the in the file right this computer and so 
as a collective, it's collecting all these different people that got their uh, pages on these different social medias. It's collecting a, so, a pretty much a mental social construct from these people to create its own type own mind, and it's gonna base and run the government off of that, right? All right, that's what that, that's what the now okay. So one of the twins was working on a machine for the for the uh, for the Air Force or whatever, right? And one of the twins wasn't in the Air Force. He just was a guy that was a uh, I can't remember Civ- his, uh, a civilian. Yeah, he was just a regular civilian, right? His a twin was a civilian. His other guy worked for the Air Force. Now, where else? Where else did that story of two twins, one civilian, one in the military, play out at? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. The first movie Avatar. When you go back to the first movie Avatar, you had the brother that was in the wheelchair, and his brother was his twin, got killed, um, in combat, um, and so they needed him. Because the only way you had to be genetically compatible with the avatar. Uh-huh. That's the first avatar. Uh-huh. Okay, so when they found out he was in the wheelchair, they said it's not going to matter. As long as he can activate the avatar, he'll be able to walk in it. Yeah. Right? So they took him to um, the planet where it was collecting the unobtainium. It's just an Anunnaki story replayed. Yeah, and when right. he was collecting the unobtainium, then he took on his brother's avatar. And his brother was in the military. He was a, a special ops in the military, special yeah. forces. I think he was like a Green Beret or something. Yeah. That, that's what I played out at before. Yeah. All, this shit, all this shit converges on connecting data. This this computer you talking about right here, Space Odyssey 2000, Baba told you it was hell. Yeah, hell, hell. Why are you doing this, hell? Why are you doing this? Yeah, so it's like, you like got to go that. back to Rosemary's Baby because it was through artificial means that Rosemary's Baby was created in the Demon Sea was the name of the movie. Yeah. It's all related. All this shit is the same story told from different perspectives from different storytellers. But they connect in key places that let you know it's the same story. The little boy blowing the horn looked like the little boy that played Damien in The Omen. Type of Damien. You, man. This nigga got freckles and everything. Like it's, it, these, boy, these people, it, it make my flesh crawl, Roy, when I start looking at this shit and breaking it down. It make my flesh crawl to show how creepy these people live, man, in Hollywood. They real creepy, man. I'm telling you. Look, they, they, look all you got to do is just remember one thing. When you see it from your human perspective, ask yourself internally, what does this look like <clears throat> from a God perspective? How do God see this shit? I'm going to tell you what I see. <laughs> I see this little boy look either like Trump's son and Damien, and he got the freckles. That means something because them freckles come from an Irish background. Donald Trump is Irish with the red hair and all that, right? Then they blow. Then they put the explosives in the trumpet to blow it to take out the government, like as in Trump. With that, these Irish guys taking out the government, and all right, but, but but let's go back before we go out to the take out the government part because it's like one more key part. Now this computer could call them on any phone; they couldn't get away. It can control, turn off cars. It can control cranes, stoplights. Uh, any car that had a computer, it can shut it off. I mean, anything that was hooked to the computer, the web, it can control. Lights, cameras, action. You know what I'm saying? So the whole plan for this computer, they used, they, they scared these people up and forced them to play play this whole thing out. Even getting them away from the feds and the other people because this supercomputer had control over the drones, the ones they, the drones they were using. You remember so, in the Matrix when Neo, when Morpheus was guiding Neo to escape the police? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same shit. Yeah, that's right. Enemy out of state. That's right. Will Smith. All of them connected. They all connected. They all yeah. full of codes. The codes is Masonic. Um, the poses intelligence organizations, the CIA, the Mossad, the KGB, etc. Um, all these codes, they knew what they mean. 
They got a whole what's called a codex to translate. Mm -hmm. We have to figure it out and they know exactly what's going on. Now that looked like the uh, serpent room at the Vatican right there. Right. See, it's a, this is a room. Same shit. It's, like a, it's, it's, it's all like connected. Seven, it's like seven miles or something on the ground, and they got this big old long hall of these, like these uh, crystal bar uh, barbs. They got all the information that's thrown from uh, social media. That's why they got, they bumped and got really everybody that was on these social media. Real, they pretty much bought them out. Google all of them. Them guys at Google came up in a uh, supposedly dead in the avalanche. Right, some some happened with an avalanche explode and they came up missing, and then uh, yeah, so all these people they got even the guy that owned Apple originally, you know what I'm saying? Apple, so it's like they they solely the what well, the like you know what? And then Ice Cube said one on the song, Ice Cube said that uh, that one day he was driving home and them niggas tried to kill me with a drone. You ain't never heard that part mm -hmm. on, on that uh, Trump song when you talking about Trump. He said they, 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 that they tried to kill him with a drone, huh? Send, send me the song. I'm going to listen to it later. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you. He said, they, he said, Ice Cube said they tried to kill him. He would ride home in his Bentley. And they, and all of a sudden, them niggas were on law. Uh, I think it was I-10 or something. And they tried you know, to kill him with a drone, huh? You know what's funny about that to me? Now, now this ain't going to apply to very many people, but this is directly apply to me. Yeah. Ice Cube, the one who did lethal injection. Go ahead death certificate right and uh the lethal injection is easy e suge knight flip the death certificate is big tookie that's on ice a uh, ice cube mm -hmm. right then you saying he mentioned about the drone and uh what make that stick out to me is Dick Gregory said Mike Michael Jackson was shot from the sky with a drone. Don't yeah. believe him. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, Dick Gregory be saying some shit, boy. I'm telling you. Sometimes Greg, Dick Gregory be saying the most absurd shit, but it's to flip a code. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. For instance, he talk about the Buffalo Soldiers. Mm-hmm. And he said that the Buffalo soldiers was something different than what they really was. The Buffalo Lodge is one of the oldest lodges on the land. That's why they was killing the Buffaloes. The bu they say right. for every every time they killed the Buffalo, they killed one of us. That's what they said. That's right. That's right. But, uh, so, uh, uh, Big Gregory know that one of us organics from over here gonna know if he left bump the buffalo soldiers we gonna come back and straighten him out and tell him he should have left bob marley alone about them buffalo soldiers because marley is a lion uh -huh. Uh -huh. the buffalo to him is just prey uh -huh. but did gregory told him it's different I don't know what his totem is because I haven't done the investigation on it, but whatever his totem is, they don't see the buffalo like the lion. Right? Yeah. So he, he attacking the buffalo soldier, and the only thing it's going to do is make me go investigate. That's all it's going to do. Let's see who the buffalo soldiers is. They played him out in Fred Flintstones. Uh-huh. As the uh what they call it, the Moose Lodge. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, remember I remember we, we we went over there. The, the uh the Freemason Lodge on, on uh Friendstones, the real right. Frugal that's, Lodge, the Frugal Lodge. Over here, that's the Buffalo Lodge. If you pull up uh natives in Buffalo headdress, this is where the name came from. Remember. We wear the animal pelts. We wear the wolves. They suck the blood. They the vampires. We the werewolves. But we ain't just werewolves. We wore cougar. We wore elk. We wore uh, moose. And the yeah. bigger you is, the bigger the animal pelt you needed to conceal you in the darkness. Well, man, we got to know our warfare and our war strategy.
Hey, another part to add to, to so as you build up on this, that uh to make a long story short on the on them leading up to the bar with the trumpet, blowing the trumpet, right? Mm -hmm. Um the computer based on this collection of the data of all the social media and how people thinking they the computer came to a conclusion that the people are fed up with the government right the, the ai came up to the computer uh the, the, the ai came to a conclusion that the people based on all the data they collect on all the minds off your phone whatever whatever right you get the picture that that these people are fed up with the government now the computer said the, the computer says ai says i will fix that for you if you agree to let me be your god i'll fix it and that's so, a contract go ahead go ahead so remember the devil can't make you do nothing yeah he can influence you though mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he can suggest it he can slide a piece of paper across the he can, he can slide a piece of paper across the table with an amount of money that you never thought you'd see in your life. And guess what? If you leave it up to him, you never will see that amount of money. If you do see it, you won't hold on to it. It's an old sharecropping agreement. The same in Hollywood, the same in the music industry, the, the same in the book writing industry. It, all forms of art. It's how they steal your soul because your soul produces the essence that comes out as art. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when they steal your art that's a piece of your soul they got mm -hmm. but if you properly compensated for your art that's called a redemption of a soul or a soul that's never been sold mm -hmm. right the remedy is an alter ego right you can you create an alter ego that they can take with them when they leave but they can't take your essence mm-hmm Mm -hmm. In other words, you write an a ego script for your ego to follow from your higher self in order for you to always be in control of your own faculties, mm -hmm. your own production and your own finance. This is what every artist has been trying to fight for ever since they murdered Sam Cooke for it. They murdered Otis Redden for it. Mm -hmm. They murdered uh, Jackie Wilson for it, tried to convince us that he just decided to die one day. And he was totally healthy before he took stage. We know what happened. Yeah, right. <clears throat> they dropped the goddamn lights on top of uh, uh, Curtis Mayfield, paralyzed him. They did a bait and switch on Teddy Pendergrass and put a drag queen in the car with him, make sure he crashed. Yeah, and the right. list of the ahead. list of dirt balls shenanigans and slime baggery that these motherfuckers was doing is like ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Lodge Muhammad said you can't fathom the mind of the devil. You can't fathom the mind of the devil. You're, yeah, you, you can't you think he mo he ten times nasty. Yeah. I'm telling you. But the, the only way you can think that look, outwitting the devil. The only way you can outwit the devil is you gotta think from a God level. As long as you follow in the devil's ways, you can't never see the world from a God view. Go ahead. That's right. Following the devil's ways is following them three rites of sin. Babylonian money magic, Babylonian blood magic, Babylonian sex magic. Remember Baba told us about the porne, the spirit of the porne. Yeah. That produces the over uh, obsession with pornographic material. Yeah, right. 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 And a lot of us don't know what's being done. Somebody uh, inboxed me and asked me to talk about incubus and succubus. All it is is the energy, the um, that's your natural sexual energy used against you in right. a conjure. Right. So you you trying too hard to be righteous. You can't live your life, but life going to live you because you're going to have these experiences, whether you accept them or reject them. And when you reject the experience you're supposed to have, nature takes its course and it comes back as an egregore of a belligerent nature. Good. Right. You supposed to have uh, consensual sex male to female. That's natural. 
right? But when you start denying yourself what's natural, it starts to create something called an aberration. Mm -hmm. Once the aberration takes hold of the first person, it becomes contagious like a disease. Because everybody wants somebody. Uh, come, here, come here, look at this shit. Come, come look at this shit. Come here, look at this shit here. Everybody wants somebody to come look at this shit. But don't nobody want to clean it up. Everybody want to film the police beating the bejesus out of somebody look just like them. But don't nobody want to go fight the police. Yeah, right. Right. We don't have no problem putting it on social media and filming it. But if we got to stop them from what we film and that's going to fuck up my motherfucking likes. Right. It's going to alter my algorithm. <laughs> we back to the computers. We back to the AI. <clears throat> and then they're seeing yeah, seeing is AI. Yeah. It's the boy from Omen 666, and it matches that. It's like it's similar. They similar. It's a similar background mm -hmm. with the freckles and shit. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at now, this uh, is the irony of it. The story of the boy from the Omen is the story of Barack Hussein Obama. All right. The story yeah. starts in a series of movies. There's three original Omen. Omen 1, 2, and 3. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Before that, you had Rosemary's Baby. And in the middle of all of them four movies, they dropped another one called The Demon Seed. <laughs> the Demon Seed is about a lady being impregnated by a computer, hijacking her psyche, causing her to go through a parthogenesis. Now, Dang, go ahead. what it's really telling us due to the level of technology at the time is that it wasn't a computer, but it was still technology. It was artificial insemination. Mm -hmm. Right. The lady didn't know what was taking place. till she gave birth to a child. Now, at that point, I would have thought it was an independent movie. But the child was a problem child that we knew about from the movie itself. Now, Rosemary's baby come out where the nun, remember, in, in the demon seed, the lady was single. She was unattached and unmarried. Go ahead. In Rosemary's baby, the lady is a nun who gets oh, yeah. pregnant with a child. A demon seed. They say yeah. it in the movie. So the reference takes you right back to the artificial intelligence of the first movie, the demon seed. But that's not the kicker. Yeah. Rosemary means a resurrection of a rebellious woman. Go ahead. All right. They playing a mirror faction out of parthogenesis using this uh, AI the laboratory test two babies uh -huh. and while they doing that they telling us the story from the side of the enemy looking at the earthborn giving birth to his protector mm -hmm. okay now in the biblical story they merged the mother and the son and gave them a whole new name called jesus go ahead Right now, the son originally was called Emmanuel, but they ain't never called him that again once they named him. Right? Mm -hmm. They tried to tell us <clears throat> that the boy grew up and his name was Yahshua. What they tell us, ain't it? Yeah. The, the problem comes in is that none of this shit that we're talking about was written in Hebrew, it was written in the Greek. Well, Greek doesn't say Yahshua. It say I-S-O-U-S. -S, right? Isos. Mm -hmm. Or Isis. When you put the proper pronunciation to the vowels and the consonants of the grammar, it literally spells Isis. Right? 21 part play. 
Why is it a 21 part play? Because it was 21 dirty moors that came over here. And it's 21 fezes in the George Washington Fez Memorial. It was 50 chiefs. And it's a painting of 50 chiefs on the painting with Charles V, Uncle Charlie, who mm -hmm. told us that if Big Mama say get him, I'm not going to get in the way. We got to remember, you had different kings and Europe at different times that was doing different shit at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you got one of the kings of France doing one thing, the king of England doing something different, the king of Spain doing something different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? This is how the Virginia Company and the Northwest Company was originally owned by the Crown of England. The Royal Moroccan Company was incorporated under the crown, under the Spanish crown, under the Tudors. Mm -hmm. They was at odds on the high seas in the trading of services and goods after the Virginia Company merged with the Northwest Trading Company, both of them slave trading companies. Mm -hmm. You can look them up. They're not hard to find. I mean, you can go do the research on them. You just didn't know they merged because they don't want to tell you that part. Mm -hmm. But when you go do the research on why did they sign the Paris Accord, we know it today is the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't have nothing to do with us because if it had anything to do with us, it would have been signed over here. I think it was by robbing us. Um, I think it was at some part of robbing us because... It, it read it. It's the, the, the it tell itself. You don't really have to do like you like you know how people be like you reaching, you reaching. It tell you in the story, in the history they wrote for the Paris Accord. It say that the Paris Accord was called because this newly formed company called the Northwest. It was the Northwest something was at odds with the Royal Moroccan Company. These two companies were stealing each other's goods in re on returning to Europe. Now, one of them is Spanish. One of them is English. Mm -hmm. When they called the meeting, there was not one chief there. So we already know it don't got nothing to do with us. It was a mm -hmm. ceasefire agreement in a cooperation agreement to protect and support each other in the transition of goods from the Americas back to England and back to France. I mean, back to uh, Spain. Mm -hmm. Now, this became a problem, but what made them sign it in Paris, remember, after they signed this, they built the Eiffel Tower and they sent the Statue of Liberty drag queen ass over here. Mm -hmm. Right now, France is losing the war against Tucson. Okay. They didn't already been whooped and replaced in the wars with Chief Pontiac with the English. He started off fighting the French because Detroit was originally Detroit. It was a French settlement. Right? And so while they fighting, the French losing sells the protectorate agreement of the Louisiana Territory, which is actually known as the Missouri Territory. Go ahead. Right? And it became the Louisiana Territories after the Louisiana Purchase. Yeah. From Louis okay, Louis. now. Huh? From the King Louis? No, that's that's how they named Louisiana. King Louis, King Louis and um, Queen Anna. Yeah. But that's a whole other story. I won't go in there. Okay, now, when the Paris Agreement is saying the French is done over here, they lost. Mm -hmm. two, they don't, you only get three shots in warfare to win, and if you lose two in a row, you done. Three rounds and out. It's a boxing thing, amateur. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, <clears throat> Once the French gone, the French can't do nothing directly to steal our resources any longer. Mm -hmm. We still have the Spanish, the Dutch, the Portuguese, the English, um, the Brits to contend with. Mm -hmm. 
right? Most of us don't know that it was Russia who sent the tribes aid and assistance in the so-called civil war. Not the Civil War, Revolution. No, was it the Civil War? Uh, you got to look it up. I got brain Say that again. Say that again. The Russia aids um, aided us in the Civil War. It was either the Civil War or the Revolutionary War. We got to look it up to be, be sure we got the right war. I got you. Get down computer. Is we going? I don't know what it's doing. I know ain't nothing on this computer. But go live. All right, let's go. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to keep talking. Okay, so at this time, this Tsar Russia that's sending us over here support. World War II? No. Civil War or Revolutionary War? It's one of them. Uh, let's see. No. Put civil in front of war. Okay, I got you. Nah, maybe I need to do it like this. Just put civil in front of war. Yes. All right, there we go. Read what that yeah, say. During American, during the during the American Civil War, Russia supported the Union largely because it believed that the U.S. served as a counterbalance to its uh, geopolitical geopol geopolitical rival. The U uh, the U King the United Kingdom. United Kingdom. And the Russian Navy, Baltics, and Pacific Fleet. Wintering, wintering in the American port of New York ports. and San Francisco, respectively. Yeah, ports. Okay, now we ain't even fighting the war so, in, in, uh, in on the West Coast. Why is they putting ships in San Francisco? Look, these people haven't crossed, they That's haven't the, crossed. Look, they telling on themselves right here. This is a critical piece of data right here. Oh shit, bro. I, I I got it. I got it, bro. I, I see what's happening. I see what happened. When this is going on, this we haven't even time. had the right. We haven't had the Mexo-American War yet. America haven't annexed Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. Nevada from Mexico yet. None of this has happened yet. 1863. None of this has happened yet. All right. The the Spanish American War don't kick off into the 1890s. Right? Or somewhere up in there. Now, they sending troops to San Francisco. That's where the Califia Queens was. And I know we know that the real truth of this, but I want to make the connect this connection. See what they they okay, they say 67. See, look, but around the same time that Civil War, because that's that's when they was at like in the Louisiana Purchase, 1865. Why would Russia look okay? I I got it, bro. Okay, so that's during the same time that Andrew Jackson then was doing the trail trail of tears and yep. going our retreat. During our retreat, as we were trying to get away from them, or uh, uh, they was pushing us to the west, it could be that Russia sent people to help us. They've they been sending people to help us. Look, this is what ended up happening. Okay. After they sent us support, the assassination was developed to get rid of the czars of Russia. They was the only royal families outside of the Americas that supported the organic people wherever they found them. So they started with um, an information campaign stealing information from a brother named C.L.R. James. He became... Uh, 
he became a renowned communist philosopher, but he wasn't teaching communism. He was teaching tribal structure and tribal format to govern large numbers of people. They wanted to take out the part where everybody had equal access to all resources. So communism was the experiment that they run under the platform of socialism, which is all, both of them are written in, in the translations as democracy. Right? So once they, they had what they call uh, the Red Winter, when um, Bolshevik Revolution kicked off, and the uh, assassination of Tsar Nicholas went down, to get rid of the Russian royal families, the remaining royals of Russia fled to America. Yeah. That's why they never found them. Every time something happened, everybody kept running over here for help. Right? So Big Bob would say, okay, come on, baby. I'm going to take care of your little dusty ass, too. Just don't let them motherfuckers come over here. And they came over here. All right. Can you blow that map up? Yeah, yeah, you want me to blow it up big? Okay, here we go. Let me save in this file real quick. Computers are down, stolen, bro. So they had to get rid of the royal families of Russia. We had to go find somebody in Russia to back. They got the blood in the right as a czar. And if we find him, he can be put in, pun intended. Put in. Pun intended. <laughs> right. And why is he put there? Yeah. To overthrow the vampires, Vlad. Right? To overthrow the vampires of the empire of the vampires, the bloodsuckers. Put in. Yeah. Here we go, Rob. We got it. Like, we got it nice and greasy right here. Okay, you see where it say Illinois Spaniards territory, to Mississippi go. territory, Indiana territory, right? Yeah. That's called the Northwest Territory in in the law books. You see where it say Mississippi territory? Right here, yeah. Where's Louisiana? At? See, all we wasn't all that's the land of flowers from the eastern seaboard of Florida all the way to the Gulf going around Louisiana into Texas. That was off the land of flowers, and that was heavily forested terrain. It was deforested by lumberjacks, and this is why lumberjacks became celebrities in the era. Right. When we went into the Kanja War, they was tricking our ass to do everything that was against our best interests. And we was working for them and didn't even know it. That's why they say we were slaves, but we was never slaves. I know. it. We was deceived. We was lied to. We was dupes. We was tricked. Right. We was hoodwinked. We was bamboozled, but we ain't never been no slaves. Mm -hmm. We definitely got hoodwinked. That's for sure. And they trickery, they, they trickery is amazing to me. But look at these gears. You see the orange? Yeah. Right here. Can you zoom in on that date? 1803. Now remember, at in 1863, 60 years later, right? This is when all these okay, the Northwest Territory is all of the white. Including Ohio, that's part of the Northwest Territory too, right? But they showing you how they moving in and expanding from the east, going to the west. But for some reason, who is in the in the west already? They tell you right there. Spaniel. Spain, Spain is already Spain is already in the west. So why is Russia sending? Who is Russia sending the uh, fight in the west? It can only be one group of people because they they sending them to back us up. 
the English is in the orange. The Spanish is in the uh, pink, right? Everything else is tribes. Everything else is tribes. Now look at Florida. Who are we fighting in the Gullah Wars? Look at Florida. You see who we fighting in the Gullah Wars, right? Spanish. So now the Treaty of Peace, Peace and Friendship is the alliance between the English and the Spanish to subjugate this in a conjure war. Now it wasn't until it wasn't until 1776 is the 200 years George Washington challenge. Right? Oh, yeah. So once they they issued the 200 year challenge, they going to work together. They was working together the whole time. Berlin Conference. Now we in 1880. Right? Oh, yeah. Right before the Berlin Conference who they assassinate Czar out of Russia, eighteen sixty-three. Right there, Rod. Right. So why did they do that? They wanted to take anybody with a with a navy fleet from supporting us. The old Mississippians go back to Google. The old Mississippians had a navy in the Mississippi River and in the Gulf. Type in old Mississippian navy. It might not come up because they don't want us to know it. But it's not a secret. Yeah, they gonna give us Oh. Right here, Rod. Yeah. With Rod got killed. Right here, right? Mississippi River Squadron. What year is that? This would be. The year is 1862. Really, okay. Active. It says they was active from 1861 to 1865. Damn. We had a, oh, we already had a navy. We already had a navy when they came over here. Mm -hmm. So, right, uh, um, Mississippian Navy before uh, before 1700. Let's try that. All right. Oh yeah, crossing the Mississippi. Okay, let's go to seventeen hundred. A squadron. I know. I read in one of the journals, the uh, one of the Spaniards wrote that. They was kicking their ass all the way till they ran into the Navy of the old Mississippians on the Mississippi River. Type in Native American Navy. See what come up. Okay. Navy. Uh, 
I know that they, they, they've been had boats over here in navies because you know what's the name them whole sheen all on was well, coming on the wave for then. And you got to remember, the Port of New Orleans was a naval base the whole time. It always been a naval base. It's called now. It's called Port Nola. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, I, okay, I so we're gonna rain check. We go. We're gonna rain check that receipt. I'm gonna post it on my page. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one right there, Rob. I could tie that into. Uh, I, I could tie into them that that that, that murder because they go back to uh, the Jason Bourne thing when I was breaking it down. That some happened in uh, France, and then some happened in Berlin, where somebody got assassinated, and during the Berlin conference. And uh, that was the connection that we made when they said the Berlin Conference. Then, now you add this part that hey, Russia came over during the Civil War to help us. Who the hell was they? Who was they helping? Who was they fighting against during this? Yeah, Civil who was? War? But, but even more so because we can say they was taking the English side, but that's who they was at odds with anyway. So why would they take their side? Cause they say they came and joined with the uh, with the Union Army. Uh-huh. They didn't join with the Union Army. The Union Army was divided into red coats and blue coats. Uh-huh. The South they had white coats that was eventually turned gray by being faded white from being dirty all the time in the war. Uh-huh. Right. So they give us the impression that in the South they wore gray coats. And in the west, in the north, they wore red coats. But where in the hell did the blue coats come from? So we looking at all these armies converging over here is the same as the United Nations converging in Iraq or Afghanistan. Yeah. So Russia supported the North in the Civil War. Mm-hmm. She was under Tsar Alexander the Second, right? Yeah. Oh, let me see something real quick. He was assassinated. God dang. Oh man, that made... Oh yeah, that's crazy. The guy that took support with the North got a kill. I bet the black hand. Hey, I wonder about who. I wonder about who. Uh, right. Now look, look at the year. 1881. Look at the date. March 13th. That's 313. That's the Chief Pontiac knock. 313. Fort Detroit. March is the third month. Yeah, I wonder why they assassinated him if he was helping the North. You know what I'm saying? Like what, what leads up to Well, you gotta remember this. Okay, so this is before the this is before um Zar Nicholas got assassinated. This is in 1881. At this time, they um the Berlin conference is about to set off. They trying to stop the rise of the Mahdi in the Sudan mm-hmm. at this time. General Gordon is the number one general of the Union uh, the European Unified Forces. Mm-hmm. This is their enemy to the north. Muhammad Ahmed. Baba's uh, great great grandfather mm-hmm. is the enemy to the south, right? So they coming over here. They going west and east. They getting slaves. They was getting their slaves long before they was bringing. Um, before they were so called enslaving us, they was fighting wars with Mongols, right? With Huns. And with Vedics, or what we call today Hindus, the Ayurvedic people. Yeah. And these was the ones they brought in captivity to the Americas when they came, when they got kicked out, they took their servants with them. Because they some lazy and entitled, selfish, self-centered individuals, and they're not going nowhere without somebody to wait on them hand and foot. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when they get over here with them, they have to do something with them people. 
This is where David Walker's appeal come in right around this time as well. Also, around this time, we setting up Prince Hall Masonry. Okay. Like, all of this was in like a 20-year block, what we talking about now. Damn. Right around, look, look, 30, 1884, 1885. Mm-hmm. Around the same time. He, got, he the dude that helped. Now, look at this. It, that dude had to have something to do with, with, with us. This dude sent troops over to help the North. Then he get picked off right after that, the Berlin Conference. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah, this that's 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 freaky. Right? Okay, now look, what year did it end? The Berlin Conference ended in what year? 85. 1885. What year, what year did Muhammad Ahmed pass? Pull him up. Hey, spell his last name. Just put in uh, my D Sudan, and it'll come right up. Oh, oh, oh you talking about the Mad D? Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I think it's this one right here. Uh, no, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. You talking about yeah? There you go. go there you go. Yeah, I got this you. is a whitewashed picture, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You know, that's right. The pale Arab uh, version. Go to the main page so you can see what year he died. Here's a picture right here. Oh, right I should here. say what year he got assassinated. Oh, okay, all right. hold up. Let's go back. Yeah, it's like Babel's uh, great granddad. Okay, here we go. Um, 81. In 18, he's clean. Hold on, hold on. In 81, he laid. Oh, shit, bro. Hold on. Let me write this down before we go forward, bro. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> shit, man. You ain't taking yeah. notes, since you elder. You already got yeah, this yeah, shit in here. God. Damn, man. Now, this is. Now, this is. I hear, like, it's stuff that's this coming out, man. The ancestors were building a lot of stuff. Connections here. Now let's see what happened to him. Huh? Cause he got a didn't he get assassinated? Yeah, they poisoned him. Yeah. That, that, uh Knights of Templar. Uh go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm gonna have to put his whole name in there. Just click on that page. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, yeah, June he got uh, June 21st, 1885. Oh, shit. Right with a Berlin conference. Oh, hold on. Bro. I got to make another connection, man. Hold up. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. Uh, French. Hold up, man. Hold on. This right here, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Queen. Oh, man. This about to get crazy, bro. Hold up. This date. All right, Queen Victoria, 1837. But what I want to find out is she died. In 1901? Yeah, but this lady was out the out the uh out the the Matthew. Cause look, she she like when uh when oh, they took you talking me, about used- put I put double eyes behind her name for the second. Okay. Yeah, that's it right there. The Deru lady. Huh. But I want to figure out. Watch this. I'm just going to type one more word. See if they give me a connection. So then. February 19th. No, not Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth come down from that same bloodline. Queen Victoria. Is the one that was after the Matty man, because when they like when the when the when the uh the Moors had fell, the Moors was in control of the British Empire, but they had got it, usurped like in 20, 1821. If you by, go, uh, if you want to know which queen, look, if you want to know which royal house was fighting the Mahdi, type in which ki- king or queen sent General Gordon to the Sudan.
Well, you just say who sent King, uh, General Gordon to the Sudan? It's G O R D O N. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Got it. Charles George Gordon. Let's see what we got on this guy, man. Break this guy's name down, man. It's a connection between all these niggas. I'm going to connect all these niggas, man. This story is really, really good in a scramble for Africa. They really go into details. The, the Muhammad Ahmed soldiers killed this dude, beheaded him, and they look what he wearing on his head. They beheaded him and they put his head between two branches and threw rocks at it. Damn. Boy, Where else do they okay. throw rocks in the Middle East? Look right here, a hey, eighteen eighty four, bro, is when they came at the Muhammad. Uh the Matthew series we broke, then broke out in Sudan, led by a Muslim religious leader, self-proclaimed Mahdi, Muhammad Ahmed. Man, hold up, man. This shit's about to get here. All uh, right, so let me just trace back what I got in my head so far. Something to do with the Berlin Conference. All this shit is tied in just like Tahuti said. The Berlin Conference, the MACD, the, the, the signing of the treaty. Hold on, let's go back to that. That was like what the treaty was what? What year was the treaty? Uh, 18, uh, 1784. The print the uh, treaty of friendship. Yeah, I'm gonna let you type it in. That's way before that. All right. That was way before uh not the Paris Treaty. It's called Treaty of Peace and Friendship. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be uh 1786. Okay, so that's like about a, a whole bunch of years before. So, it, but it's, it is a connection. That's like the first place that Jason Bourne went when he got back on land. He went straight back to um, France first. That's where he. That's where mm -hmm. some kind of way he got. They gave him an apartment, a place to stay in France, as is as is one of his home bases. Yeah, yeah he had, he had him. He had him everywhere. They had him doing work. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And the alias for each place. This is how yeah, Albert right. Pike, this is how Albert Pike, Adam Whitesharp, and George Washington end up being the same motherfucker. That's right. I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. So now this is what I want to make make the connection. Okay, so they weren't just they, this is the part we gotta realize they weren't just after us over here, they was after us all over. Now this is another this is another connection, bro. I want you to think what you think about this. All right, now let's look up this map. This this is a map right here. And when you look at this map, we're gonna see why. Because the Moors, the Moors had already laid had claim on that land. I'm gonna show you right here. And that's why the war a war broke out when they got usurped. Okay, hold up. Okay. All right, hold on, I want to blow this map up. All right, now let's look at this land, this map right here. Uh, right here. This is a map. Now, I don't know how true this map is of, of the empire, but I'm just using it for a synopsis of what happened with uh connection to Berlin Conference and all that. Can, can you see that map? Hold on, let me blow it up. Now, they say that this is the British Empire. Hold up. Uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. All right, this map, where does it go? They gonna let me, where did it go right there? Now, keep in mind what a map he was in Sudan. Now, based on the, the research that I had did, and I put it into that book about uh, Queen Elizabeth, I mean, Queen Victoria being Deruz, who usurped the original uh, 
King George the Third and them family, right? All right. So now keep in mind the British. This right here is a center point. These uh, guys, they took this as a little center point. Brit, Brit means covenant. All right. So they said that all this red was what the land they had had captured of. Now, this this part of the Sudan, they had part of Egypt. That's why they invaded Egypt and started raiding the tombs in Sudan. A lot of it's a lot of people kings that were buried in Sudan, right? Uh, with all the gold and everything, right? So what mm -hmm. happens is is King George and all his people get wiped out, and then Victoria comes into play. But when 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 they get you, sir, the Met D said we don't. They ain't the real family. We ain't honor nothing they got. We gonna break off from them. We are gonna take our own land back because y'all y'all usurpers, right? Y'all like the original people, right? And so what happens is that starts. Uh, I guess starts a war between Victoria military, the British, uh, who becomes now pretty much took over. Pretty much took over. And okay. They really, it, the it, what, it, what happened with the Mahdi was more like what happened with Baba. Go ahead, go ahead. Right, the Mahdi, he he didn't he wasn't like the ruler of the Sudan. He was a tribal leader, and the local tribes began to support him in his programs because they was effective. Go ahead. They the 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 Europeans was figuring they had to neutralize this guy because they can't create a need that allows the outsider to come in and offer a remedy for. Mm -hmm. He was solving the problems within the confines of the nation without ever leaving the land. Same thing Baba was doing. Mm -hmm. Right? And so um, they wanted to stop him. Before they sent General Gordon in 1884, they had exhausted all of the wisest generals of Europe trying to overthrow him in a five-year stretch from 1880 to 1885, right? They was unsuccessful because he had the support of his people and his people recognized him as a wise elder of a clan that they all knew acknowledged as being from the land so they backed his play when he general gordon came to negotiate first he was like fuck that i'm not just gonna run up in there like the rest of them i'm gonna go negotiate mm -hmm. right so he sent viziers to go request a meeting a council with muhammad Ahmed. When they meet, Muhammad Ahmed's agenda was convert General Gordon to Islam, mm -hmm. where General Gordon's agenda was to convert Muhammad Ahmed to Christianity. Yeah, they were Christians. King George and them were Christians, and Queen Victoria and them, Catholics. Okay, Long right. Catholics. So after long discussions, Muhammad Ahmed offered his respect to General Gordon. General Gordon did the same in return. The people didn't trust General Gordon because he came in with this good cop shit. So they went on and murdered this motherfucker because he deserved death for bringing death to their front door. And so when they killed him, this sets in the whole assassination plot against Muhammad Ahmed. Right, so they end up poisoning him to get him out of the picture. Right, they want to get, it's some. I believe it's something else too about that land in Sudan was why they wanted to keep claim on that land. It, 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 I, I believe it's gold. I believe it's something to do with gold too. O I L. Type in Sudanese oh. oil reserve. All right, hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me do it. Remember, this is the dawn of the industrial revolution. One who controls the resource controls the industrial revolution. And the most critical resource in industrialism was the oil. According to the oil and gas journalists, Sudan and South Sudan collectively held proven oil reserve of 5 billion barrels as of January 22. Hold on, let me see. Uh, hold on, let me make it just make a connection real quick. See, uh, 
is that a lot compared to what we get? We got four. Oh yeah, we make them. We blow them out the water, man. They you got. Gotta, you got to remember, uh, they. This is just our reserve. We don't. They not allowed to trade our shit. So our shit just been stacking up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. The, uh, the New Orleans. That's, that's why they try to do that Katrina flood down there because that a lot of the reserve is down. You know. You want you see the you see the poverty in Mexico, right? Uh huh. Type in Mexico or reserve. Uh-huh. Six. Oh yeah, they about the same as Sudan. Six billion uh barrels. Why are they poor? Yeah, right. Okay. Now instead of oil reserve, put in New, New Mexico up there. We ain't done in Mexico yet. Damn. Now Canada beating everybody out. God damn. They can't trade it. They got the same QCIP number as America. It's the same company. It's called a bifurcated company. Yeah, they got they got three four, three times the oil reserve as America. Mm-hmm. Canada. Damn. Now that's crazy. All right, we got Mexico up there, six billion. What you got next? Okay, Mexico put in um gold reserves. All right. Mexico gold reserve was reported at seven point four nine seven US billion. I think that is in uh, August two thousand twenty twenty three. So I think it's US. So they got like seven point seven, seven billion dollars. That's seven billion four hundred and ninety-seven million US dollars worth of gold. Yeah. Okay. Put in Mexico nickel reserves. All this is to show you that there's no reason for anybody to be in poverty. Three hundred million tons. Damn, that's like sixty percent. Hold up, uh, hold on, I might be reading that wrong. Let me make to this talking about Mexico. That's a lot of damn nickel there, man. That's 300 million tons. 300 tons Look, of nickel. When you get done going down the mineral chart for Mexico, your mind will be literally blown. There's no reason for that poverty. El Chapo go straighten it out, though. Larry, tell him, Larry told him what to do, what he had to do he when he get back. Yeah, he want to teach some land down now. Him and Pablo really wanted to cheat some of the land. That's what they really ain't telling you. They make these people out to be criminals. They're like, uh, they made these people to Let's be go and tell pro. Yeah. If they was doing it over here, why wouldn't they do it down there? Right. Right. Yeah, but Ro, I gotta get off, man, because uh I said I said I wasn't gonna be on uh but I so we good. On, I stayed on longer. Yeah, we uh, good. I, 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 this wasn't even planned. This was impromptu. Yeah, hey, just like, it's like I said, like I, I went up, like so you called me right when I was about to go live on it, and it's just like boom. I'm glad you did call me because like, we got we got, we was able to build do a bill, man. So I can see I'm writing all these notes when I go and put this together, man. I'm telling you, bro, my my flesh almost starting to feel weird. Like I'm coming, getting on to sit. That we aren't supposed to know about, you know what I'm saying? They they was hoping that we never found this these parts out. You know what I'm saying? They was hoping we never found these parts out right here. And tie it's a whole lot, it's a, they didn't want us, they didn't want us to know Nathan. They no, thought we was just gonna we just they, 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 look, they thought we was just gonna stay dumb and we was just gonna keep talking country, and we weren't gonna never send nobody into the city to get rid of the southern draw so we can talk with some common um linguistic dynamic that allow people to hear us better. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Now, so one of these country boys have been raised to be a city slicker and they in trouble because now they got to deal with this country, this country clever city slicker. Man, what, what I'm doing now, I'm just decoding all going through because they told us the whole storyline in these movies in Hollywood. In Hollywood, that's part of the conjure. Just to show you your what your history, show you subliminally all your what we did to you subliminally in the conjure. That way you can't say we didn't tell you. That's that's the that's the rules. They gotta tell you what they're doing to you before they do it. That's why the Illuminati always come out and say show you in commercials and you know Simpsons and cartoons and you know, different stuff in Hollywood. They always show you what they're gonna do to you or how they're gonna do it or what ideas they got in their mind. They show you in Hollywood because it's part of the country. Hollywood is a one, a magic one. You know what I'm saying? They do casting. They do they do acting. All this is the actors are wizards and witches. So like so, if we look at the movies and we start, they didn't expect that we we'll, that the wizard, the good wizards or the good alchemists, will wake up and say, let's look at this movie and see what the heck they got going on and start decoding it and the story unfold like it is. Give you a true true history, true story. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so yeah, he says, Who is the red girl? Hey, boy, you want to answer that? The red girl. I think they're talking about uh what's that girl name? The red girl. That's always shaking her booty and all that in the camera. Uh the new the new rapper they've been talking about. Foxy Red, what her name is. Uh I can't think of a name right now. Red something. But just by Hey, just by the color red, you should know that she on a low vibration. Just by her uh, calling her sick. No, red. no, don't, no, don't, no, don't, don't fall into that. No, no, listen, to, listen to what I'm saying. I'm sorry, it's, it's, two, it's always two sides to a color. It's always two sides to a color. But th- if you know this girl, her the, 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 the what she using the, the red for? She using it for the bad side. She walk around butt naked. She always talking about how she uh, this sleeping with different men. This, this, this is a chick that got a low frequency, man. She ain't no high vibrational. Uh, she ain't she ain't even on the frequency about how our Nana was doing it. How our Nana was, because uh, our Nana was, she had her high heels and sundress and all that. I'm talking about, but she ain't even on that level. She on a just, I'm just a toilet type of mentality. I'm a toilet for a man to take, for people to look at me like a toilet, pretty much. That type of energy. She ain't on the, the the, the red energy that's a cleanser, the, 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 that's the cleansing part of it. You know what I'm, I'm saying? In my, in my Bobby Hemmett expression, mm-hmm. in my Bobby Hemmett expression, that's that goddamn moralism. Don't fall for that moralism bullshit. Yeah. There's a reason he said that. And if you don't yeah. understand the reason he said that, that's where the self work at. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I feel you. You gotta remember in the game of the gods, it's not about right or wrong, it's only about balance. Yeah, ain't no such thing, ain't no such thing as right or wrong, right? But what we have are things that shock into the conscience and it's absurdity of neglect of others. Yeah, those are the things we call evil. But the true evil is the things done to you in the dark, like the blood magic, the sex magic, and the money magic that ruin your life in the light That's right. it dims your light i don't get into that too much about celebrities because they are playing a, a purpose a role for a purpose it's yeah. a big script yeah. every celebrity is an artistic that is being used or harnessed in order to extract the response mm-hmm. so i don't give them no response i just look at them and be like oh oh that's what they own yeah, yeah, but like everybody in there talking bad about the chick, but uh, you know she making her money and uh, but she pretty much to me is a scripper that he just gave a rap, rap, uh, a script. I love, got a rap I love, I love scrippers. Yeah, I love scrippers. Look, that used to be where you think the chorus line came from. Remember burlesque? That was all our shit from the juke joint. Yeah. Right. But what they did is they used it and moralized us to the point where we stuck to the right. We so goddamn righteous that we can't see straight because we trying too hard to be overly righteous instead of living our life 
and do the best we can and treat people the way we want to be treated. Follow the golden rule and you can't go step on nobody's toes. But as soon as you start giving a judgment, no matter which side you on, the right or the left, as soon as you give it a judgment, then you pick the side. Now you stuck in being a, a accuser, a false accuser, um, a misleader, right? You don't want to get into none of that shit. That shit don't got nothing to do with you. If a celebrity want to get up there and put on a show, it may not be the show I'm interested in. I'm going to find me a different celebrity that's going to, I'm going to go find Chuck D. I'm going to go find uh, Brother J. I'm going to go find Rakim. I'm going to go find Nas. I'm going to go find motherfucking Ice Cube. I'm going to find Denzel Washington if I want an actor. I'm going to find somebody that's going to do something to my taste. And if they're not doing it to my taste, they don't have to have my interest. Right. It's not personal. It's just that I have to be selective about what I'm supporting according to my own moral compass. Uh -huh. Right. That I'm just not interested. Right. Like I love the shit out of Glow. Really. She had me when she did the llama llama pajama. The llama llama red pajama. When she did that, I was gone. I was like, that girl got skills because out of all of the people that did it, then nobody do it like her. She owned that motherfucking children's book like it was a hardcore hip hop legendary tune. Right? Um, it's a whole lot of them out there, sisters, but we don't want to hear that. It's not enough shock value in it to us. They talk about the girl, but then they listen to her record because they can tell you everything she said that they don't like. Uh huh. Right? So you got to be you know, a supporter one way or the other. You, your hater club is just as motherfucking needed as your motherfucking yes man club. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's how you're going to keep the balance. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. We Hey, I'm glad you came on, Rob. I want to thank you because, uh, like I say, I was going to go in by myself, but I'm glad you came on. We got a good bill. We got a good bill. I, I took a lot of notes. Uh, Hey, I got I got a special request for you uh, to see if you can make it happen. People keep yeah. asking me for this, and I'm gonna acquiesce. Um, I want to give the young brother phase one of his props and his flowers in the public domain. You think you yeah. can make it happen? Uh, well, I talked to Phase, man. You know, phase. well, you know, you know, Phase, Phase. He gonna either say yes or no. He gonna he gonna stand man, on what he I'm stand you, on. I'm gonna tell you, like, wait, people think that Phase is. I'm gonna tell you what, what they got wrong about FaZe. People think that he he aggressive and he just this and that. Nah, man, FaZe is a divine spirit like this. Like you gotta just, he, you just gotta he, he, he a spirit warrior. He not he know look I, in my opinion, I think that phase one has become everything Baba wanted any one of us to become. Yeah. I, I think he I think he, I think he manifested the intent behind Malachi's teachings all of them years in one person. Mm -hmm. Right? So I want to be, I want to tell it to him hey, direct. Definitely. Yeah, I want to tell it to him direct. And I want to, I want to also, I want to tell him, I ain't forgot about Baba. I just, just like Baba is his chief, he got to fight for. Larry, my chief, I got to fight for. Yeah, it don't yeah, mean yeah. that I'm going to not fight for Baba. But it means that any fight I do for Larry, Baba included. Right? Because all of the Chiefs got a different role to play. M my role is not the same as Phase One role. Yeah. Yeah, everybody like, right? like Yeah, I feel you. Like, everybody so, got their, like, arm leg type thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, everybody playing their I, 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 he, he um, mentioned one time I was watching his live and, and somebody told him I was in there and he was like, I hadn't reached out to him. So I'm, a, I'm because you are mutual acquaintance. I'm, I'm going to ask you to reach out to him for me and see if yeah, he yeah, got yeah, any yeah, interest. Man, I'm pretty sure somebody going to send it to him. So uh, we'll see, man, that that's going to, that's going to be, that'll be, that'll be beautiful. If we could all work together. Yeah.
Man, like I, love, I, love shit out, I love this shit out of phase one. All, ever since I've been watching him, I, I've been digging him from day one. It's just that we haven't had the opportunity to have a conversation about anything, really. We had a brief conversation on um on one of them other apps. But um I I don't I don't want him to feel like I got I ain't got no hard feelings against him. I love the shit out the brother. But a lot of people took the uh the he ain't worried about it no more. Yeah, yeah. Phase ain't worried about this no more. It's people in the community that's trying to phase going on with his life. He he going on doing I already know. I already know. I just want to show the brother some love. That's all. I want some people to see me show him some love. I, I don't. It ain't got. It could be a ten minute motherfucking thing where I just show the brother some love. That's all. That's all I want to yeah, do. Hey, I'll reach out. Yeah, but I'm saying, hey, uh, yeah. So I'll reach out and see what he say, man. You know. But like I say, he like plays a good spirit. So it just depends. Like, but you know, I, I'll see. I will check it out for you. Um, mm -hmm. man, I'm about to get all up you, out here. Yeah, I need to go to sleep because I've been up so for five o'clock this morning. I really ain't got no sleep all week because I've been with the boys' school and just doing things. Yeah, I know you've yeah, been, been, you been doing you've been doing life tomorrow on the seven, though. I'm gonna catch up tomorrow on the seven and uh, because I'm resting all day. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we, man, we, I'm gonna get with you, man, on that. I'm gonna get back with you on that, and uh, you know, we out. So, uh, you know, assalamu alaikum, shalom alaikum, hotel, peace be unto you. I should divine love throughout the balance universe to all. Right? And never, never, never have it been made.